Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Timbercraft Chronicles. We're glad you're here, and we're excited to share some valuable insights with you today. If you're new to our channel, we focus on all things woodworking, from tips and tricks to project ideas and safety guidelines. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to ensure you never miss an episode. Today we're diving deep into a topic that's crucial for every woodworker, safety. We will be detailing 10 essential tips that can help you avoid injury while woodworking. So, grab a notepad, sit back, and let's get started on our journey towards safer woodworking practices. Did you know that every year, thousands of woodworking enthusiasts suffer from injuries? Some of these are minor, but others are severe and life-altering. It's a disturbing reality. Our beloved pastime, as rewarding and fulfilling as it is, doesn't come without risks. From minor cuts to serious accidents, the dangers lurking in the workshop are real. The importance of safety in woodworking cannot be overstated. But here's the good news. With the right precautions, many of these injuries can be prevented. Now, let's dive into five of the most critical safety tips that can help you avoid injuries. First off, don your safety gear. This isn't just a fashion statement, it's a necessity. Safety glasses shield your eyes from flying debris. Ear protection defends against the roar of power tools. And gloves and dust masks protect your skin and lungs from sawdust's micro-onslaught. Don't consider starting any woodworking task without being properly suited up. Secondly, become best friends with your tools. Take the time to read the instructions, understand the workings, and learn the safety guidelines of each tool. Remember, improper use of tools is not only a faux pas in the woodworking world, but it's also a leading cause of injuries. Thirdly, embrace the art of organization. A cluttered workspace is a minefield of potential accidents. Keep your area clean, your tools in their rightful place, and materials properly stored. This not only creates a more efficient workspace, but also drastically reduces the risk of those pesky tripping hazards and accidental encounters with sharp objects. Next up, keep your blade sharp. Yes, you heard that right. Dull blades are actually riskier because they require more force to cut through wood, increasing the chances of a slip or a kickback. So keep your blades sharp for clean, precise cuts and a safer work environment. Lastly, master your technique. This is not the time for freestyling. Maintain a firm grip on your tool, keep your hands at a safe distance from the cutting area, and use push sticks or feather boards when needed. It's all about guiding the wood through power tools safely, and remember, reaching over or behind a moving blade is a big no-no. Remember, these are not just suggestions but essential safety measures to protect you in your woodworking journey. Moving on, here are the remaining 5 tips for safe woodworking. Number 6 on our list is to stay focused and alert. Woodworking demands concentration, especially when handling power tools. Distractions can lead to accidents, so it's crucial to maintain your focus. And while it may seem obvious, avoid working under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Impaired judgment significantly escalates the risk of mishaps. And remember, fatigue can be just as dangerous, so take regular breaks during long or repetitive tasks to rest and refocus. Securing workpieces properly is our seventh tip. An unstable piece of wood is a recipe for disaster. Always ensure that the wood is firmly held in place using clamps or a vise before you start cutting, drilling, or sanding. This way you prevent the wood from shifting unexpectedly, thus reducing the likelihood of accidents. Moving on to our eighth tip, always disconnect power sources. Before making adjustments or changing blades on your power tools, make sure they're disconnected from the power source. It's easy to accidentally activate a tool while you're adjusting it, which can lead to severe injuries. Ninth on our list is to use tools for their intended purpose. Each tool is designed for a specific task. Using them for other purposes not only damages the tools but also increases your risk of injury, so stick to the manufacturer's instructions and don't improvise. And our final tip, number 10, is to regularly maintain your tools. A well-maintained tool is a safer tool. Regular maintenance includes cleaning, oiling, and sharpening where necessary. Tools in good condition work more efficiently and are less likely to malfunction or cause accidents. By following these tips, you can greatly reduce your risk of injury and enjoy your woodworking hobby safely. Let's quickly review what we've covered today. We highlighted the importance of wearing proper safety gear, familiarizing yourself with tools, organizing your workspace, maintaining sharp blades, practicing proper technique, staying focused and alert, and securing workpieces properly. Each tip plays a vital role in preventing injuries and accidents, making your woodworking experience safer and more enjoyable. Remember, safety comes first in any workshop. Thanks for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more woodworking safety tips and tricks.